All right, what's going on, guys? Post-game Colorado. What can I say? I'm impressed. You know, we didn't play our best game in the first quarter. Uh, played kind of sloppy, but we did get two turnovers um, there during the game. Increased our uh, turnover margin that we have. We're second best team in the nation in that. We have plus 11 in turnover margin. We had uh, the best turnover margin in the nation last year, so we're doing that exact same thing after losing two of our big guys uh, in the linebacking core. So I'm super stoked about to see that continuing. That's part of that leading the nation in effort. I think that's really uh, trans transferring into turnovers for our team. Um, but Colorado, they came out and they played strong for about the, the, the half, first and half quarters, something like that. They, you know, that uh, big 75-yard touchdown play was basically the straw that broke the camel's back. After that, they didn't have much of a whimper. And, you know, JC, did I not tell you? Maybe you need to listen to me a little bit more often. I told you the Stanford-Washington game was going to be close. You predicted 40-17 to 17 Stanford. I predicted 28-25 to 25 Stanford. Um, I was close. It was about a touchdown. I was three, three points off uh, for either team there. So maybe you need to listen to me a little bit more. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I think Oregon's going to get their first real test next week. Going up to Husky Stadium, the way they tackle in space, Especially on that final drive where uh, Hogan tried to break it out um, with the bootleg. And they were hoping that the power run would fool him enough. And the way that guy Peterson tackled in space, that was impressive. And, you know, they, they, did, that, they did that all game. So I, I think that if the Huskies play like that, Oregon's going to get a true test. And if we can go in there and beat them by 21, 14 points, heck, even if we beat them by 17... I think that'll say a lot, and I do mean a lot about our football team and where we're at nationally. I will um, really start to believe into the 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 big game trip, you know, if you know what I mean. Everyone's talking about it. I'm kind of more sitting back, but if we go in there and we beat Washington like we've been, uh, you know, just rolling people, and I'm not saying we're going to beat them by 40, but if we beat them by 17, 21 points, I will be supremely impressed with our team. It will be a great win. And, you know, Stanford proved that they're human and that they can be beat, especially with the hurry up. That gave them fits. They were faking injuries left and right on those, those final two drives. The guy would lay down, look like he'd been shot by a cannon. Grimace, limp away. Then the next play, he'd be back on the field. And that, you know, that, that's all well and good. But it, don't, it, it doesn't win you games. It just delays them. Delays the inevitable against Oregon. We're going to beat you, Stanford. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The game's not until November 7th. Fuskies, you're next. Go Ducks.